After three years of construction, a Chinese-built toll road has opened on the island country of Jamaica. The project marks the largest Chinese investment to date in the Caribbean. It's been locally dubbed the Beijing Highway, a new toll road that will directly connect the Jamaican capital Kingston in the south with the resort beach city of Ocho Rios in the north, thanks to a $730 million project with funding coming from China. Jamaica's Prime Minister said success was possible thanks to a, quote, good, strong bond and friendship between Jamaica and China. And we intend to use those things to secure even greater investment, not just in infrastructure, but in tourism, in agriculture, in leisure and recreation, in building new cities, in water. My name is Mary Jane Arno. And I didn't actually come here to do research. I came here to write a research proposal. I did um, some work for my PhD in Trinidad and Fiji, looking at two variables in particular, ethnic identity and social well-being. And I found that when people had a strong sense of ethnic identity, they had low social well-being, which, you know, not great. So I came here to write a proposal for a study that would try to increase social well-being even if somebody has a strong sense of ethnic identity. And I want to measure social well-being with an economic game, hence my presence, because I'm a psychologist, not an economist. So the intervention that I want to do to increase um, social well-being, even if somebody has a strong sense of ethnic identity, is having them share an autobiographical memory. And one of the functions of autobiographical memory is to create social bonds or initiate social bonds. So if I get people from two different ethnic groups to share a memory, it should develop a social bond. And then when they play this trust game, um, they should be more willing to invest more money in somebody from an R group rather than people in a control group that did not share the autobiographical memory. For me, it's much more exciting to measure social well-being with this economic game rather than how people like fill out the social well-being questionnaire like to see their actual behavior like does it actually change their behavior when they are playing with real money you know so so i actually think that this project could be useful i mean well beyond trinidad especially like now that um migration is such an issue both in north america and in western europe and even in australia and new zealand i suppose yeah i think it could be done anywhere once there is you know like more than one ethnic group in a particular context so when i came here i was completely or probably almost completely economically illiterate and i learned like some very specific things which might be very obvious things to everybody else in the world i don't know but for me they were like completely new and like these novel ideas that made me think about things completely differently so for example one of our utilities companies, um, the government keeps injecting money into this company, which is our water company. I don't know if I want to say this, but I, in my house, don't have a consistent supply of water. And even when we do have water, it's not clean. But because I was, because I was here, I started to think about things differently. And I'm like, okay, you know, in my mind, to solve this problem at water in Trinidad, I'm thinking if we had two water companies, private, competing with each other, they would have to both kind of give us a consistent supply and a clean supply. And then if they were competing with each other, they would also have to pay their employees competitively. You know, so it is wrong for the government to take more money from us and we don't even get in return a consistent and clean supply of water. It has been like just lovely. Uh, like the value of this place for somebody who is doing like research in general, but like what I was doing, is that you have the time. You really don't need to think about cooking very much because meals are provided and you just have a very quiet, you know, like you can't get a more perfect environment to try to write. And like I have this room with this, this view that we have right here. And you know, so it is, yeah, it has been great for me in terms of productivity because I'm not sure if I like would not hear if I could do that whole proposal in three months and two weeks. <laughs> so from January, I'll be starting a postdoctoral associate position um, at the Abu Dhabi campus of New York University. And yeah, I'm hoping to be able to carry out this um, project that I wrote here when I get to Abu Dhabi.